Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. Also, go sign up for the free mini course, Virg, and follow me on my I Teach Tarot YouTube page. I have not uploaded yet, but trust and believe the heat is coming because I want to give you guys all the ways that you can learn to read tarot before my free mini course drops. Okay, Virg, so now... I feel like you're going to have a decision to be made, to make at some point, Bird, because I pulled some cards uh, for your person and how they're feeling toward you. All right, we have love call. Now, I feel like you and this person have been at odds for a while, Ver. You've been going back. You could have been going back and forth with them. I feel like you also go back and forth in your mind about them, Ver. Part of you is like, do they really love me? Do they really care about me? Or are they just try are they just attracted to me? They just want to flirt with me or hook up with me, Ver. I feel like you also see a, a bit of... um. Uh, like um, an in and out energy with this person. Like you're not quite sure about their intentions, but you're so you're so into them, Virg. You're very attracted to this person. Okay, to say the least, you're very attracted to this person. We also pulled engagement ring for them. All right, so I feel like this person is is thinking about higher commitment here, and you might be like higher commitment, higher commitment. Okay, you got to show me more than what the hell you've been showing me. All this love bombing, all this love energy, Virg. Like, I feel like this person has has more to do than just to pull up with some sort of commitment here. You guys are not at that place. It doesn't feel that way. Okay, but I feel like you can expect a call or a message. Okay, what is this? Give me the first card here. For the Virgo's energy. What is this? Okay, yeah. Ooh, Virg. So this could be a very lusty connection, Virg. I feel like part of you has tried your best to break the hell away you tried to break away from this connection, Virg, many times, many times, especially I want to say last winter. For some of you guys, let me know down below in the comments. Last winter, I feel like you were trying like hell, but it's almost like the harder you tried, the more you stayed, the more you stayed there. And it's like, Virg, I feel like you might have even, I, want to, I don't want to say like this person has changed you, but it's almost like you, you've changed a bit by dealing with this person. You might have become a bit more like argumentative. All right, you might have been more lusty for this person. It's almost like you started to adopt some of their traits and some of their ways. And then sometimes you look at yourself like, damn, how did I get here? How are me and this person here? Okay, yeah, because you guys are still like, you guys are still bonded together for, for, for some reason. All right, what is this spirit? What is this bond? Okay, five of pentacles. Okay, so, Virg, you two are the kind of couple or, yeah, you guys are the kind of people who, you leave each other out in the cold, but you know that there's some way that the other person's going to get back in. There's some way that you're going to get back into this person's good graces or vice versa. It's like this person knows, like, all I got to do is do, 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 make a call. Hello? Yeah, and let the Virgo know. I feel like sometimes, Virg, you have blocked this person, but then you unblock them. All right, I feel like you have a real like pull to do what's right. It's like, I, I want to do what's right. You might have even given this situation like a, a fair shot, Virg. It's like, let's stop the arguing. Let's stop the uh, toxicity, please. Because I am definitely getting some toxicity with this connection. Let's just really try to do this right. Especially if we're going to go into some sort of high commitment. But then <laughs> there's this energy with you, Virg. This person could piss you off and you'd be like, nah, fuck that. Let's get back to the toxicity because... I don't know how else to function in this. It's either very, like this is the energy. It's almost like you tell yourself it's either I'm going to walk away from this person or I'm going to be highly toxic with them, period. All right, sun card. And I feel like that's a realization that you that you do know. All right, give me more here, spirit. I'm also getting very like uh, if this person blocks you or you block them, they always figure out another way to get in touch with you. Always, Virg. Always. Yeah, the full card. No matter how much there, there is a, a detaching or, or this person detaches from you, you detach from them. There's some way that you guys end up getting back together. And I really feel like it's the intimacy that's amazing for some of you guys. All right, the flirting. They just know what turns you on. Okay, really good sex between you two. But it's like you know that you guys aren't... You might feel like this person isn't truly committed to you, Virgo. You might feel like there's someone that they are more committed to or... There's some sort of third party interference here. Remember, it doesn't have to be another person, Virg, but it can be, all right? Or you have that third party energy. It's just like you got, like there's, a, there's there, feel, there seems to be a connection where it's like you guys have a, a very strange commitment to each other, but you're also not doing the right things by each other, if that makes sense. Now, I'm also, Virg, I cannot, I cannot ignore the fact, because this card is like screaming at me, the twin flame. All right, now I don't always read for this or, or talk about twin flames, but 
twin flames don't always get to be together in the, on this physical plane or on, during this experience, if you are into that, just because there's so much that they trigger in each other. Okay, so that could be this kind of situation where you could be dealing with somebody that is your twin flame, but they just like bring out the best in you, but they also bring out the worst in you and you can't ignore that. But I feel like this connection is so, it has such a strength to it. And the eerie part of it, Berg, is like part of it is healing. It's like even in its toxicity, the shit is healing. It, it helps you be more clear or something. Wow. Okay, give me more spirit. Give me more. But I do feel like Berg, you you do try to you do try to detach from this, but it's like the again, the more you try to detach, the cherry is here. It's like the further you guys go. All right, somebody could also be purchasing a new car or um has some sort of luxury car, really nice car, Berg. All right, and Virgo, I'm also getting that this person, <laughs> this is funny, uh, this feels petty, but it's like somebody got a new car and didn't tell the other person and, and like you felt some type of way, this person felt some type of way, like damn, like you making big moves and didn't even tell me shit, like what the hell's wrong with you? All right, five of wands, I feel like this caused an argument or what they do in their free time, Virg, you're like, what? why were you here or, or why weren't you where you said you were going to be? Okay, so there's a lot of, yeah, eight of wands, there's a lot of back and forth um about like this person's ways or about your ways Virgo. with the nine of swords here i feel like it always ends up tearful all right i'm getting a, like a hang up but then i call back or something like that with it why is the devil card here this this oh i was gonna say this conversation feels toxic but this connection very feels toxic it does i haven't seen this the top but i haven't seen this in a while this level of toxicity with you i see why you try to let him go but i also see why you stay okay this is a toughie but the thing is, Virg, one thing about that tower, this is going to hit whether you want it to or not. Okay, and I feel like this is something that has possibly recently happened between you two. Like, something made it to where, no, nah, me and you are bugging out. We're, we're going crazy now. Like, we cannot continue in this fashion. Okay, because this tower kind of came out of nowhere, Virg. All right, give me more about this. And it, yeah, okay, so three of one, uh, three of swords. You guys, you guys really tried to separate. So, very this last separation was, I, I feel like the most um, volatile breakup or the the biggest blow up. But with the three of swords, very, I, I do feel like there's a separation that has recently happened with you and this person. But I want to say, very, it does feel temporary, even though this the tower hit. What? What is this? Why do you guys feel like this should be temporary and not permanent? Is what the hell I'm thinking in my mind. All right, Page of Cups and the Termit. So, Virg, you you ghosted this person or this person ghosted you? All right, but with the Page of Cups here, I feel like there's some sort of apology that's coming in after this uh after this tower hits. That's why we got probably the love call here. So, Virg, I feel like your person knows that when you guys, especially if this is the masculine that I'm talking about, they know that when you guys go through a, a, a crazy a crazy thing the only thing that they could do to fix that is show some like grandiose sense of love or affection toward you ace of cups making some sort of offer here definitely starting off with a with an apology or, or they went but i'm also this person went away for a while all right um went up north i don't know if they <laughs> but i don't know if this person went to jail all right that's probably only for like one or two of you with some uh, but for other example you guys this person travels for work or they're just in their car a lot. They travel a lot, Virgo. You don't like that because you feel like when they're in that car, they might always take pictures of their car or something, Virgo, but you feel like they're on some bullshit. What is this? Because it's like, you're not coming to see me, so who the hell are you going to see? Nine of Swords, and it leaves you upset because this person detaches from you, but yet they're visible everywhere else. They, they stop picking up your phone calls, all right, and now they just want to call now. What is a cherry? You could be dealing with a Cancerian. We also have having Scorpio or energy here, Virgo. All right, Gemini energy as well. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like they're off in the distance investing into another connection and that really stresses you out, but you know that you have to let it go. Okay, Two of Pentacles. You might be feeling like you're being juggled, Virg. And you guys were just trying to heal the connection or after a big blow up, Virg, this person maybe gave you a gift or, or did something that you'd been wanting them to do. <sighs> Virgo, okay, yeah, I'm exhausted. I feel like you're exhausted. You need some rest, Virg. Especially you've been sparring like this. You need some rest. Okay. You could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Give me their energy toward the Virgo spirit. What is this person's energy toward my Virgo? Okay. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of, five of Cups. So Virgo, they see that this shit is not working. Especially when this tower came. Whatever caused this bi the biggest tower you guys have had, they're like, okay, this isn't going to work anymore. But then there's a part of your person that's like, 
we have the five of cups and knight of cups we also have the uh cherry energy here it's like we get stuck we get stagnant but yet i still miss the virgo i still think about the virgo the virgo still may um is very big in my mind so that goes with the love clover because it literally says thinking of you and letting you know so i feel like this person they can't this type of person they can't miss you in silence miss me in silence miss me over there on your side of the city and on your side of the world don't come to me with that shit because i feel like part of you Virg, is difficult for you to push this person away now you can get ghosts now you can you know block them or whatever but when this person starts to reach out is when you start to get a little bit weak and they know that Okay, but with the three of pentacles, they, they did think like, damn, okay, this shit isn't working. We both need to move on. Give me more here, spirit, on this person's energy toward the Virgo. Okay, six of cups wanted to come out. So this talks about reconciliation, Virgo. I feel like there's a part of them that continues. They have the sense of nostalgia. They're thinking about the best times with you two before you guys separated and thinking about how to give you this apology. They also, Virgo, they think about um, really toxic blowups that you guys have had in the past or how you handled that and trying to figure out like, okay, well, is this situation like that one? So maybe I should do that, use the same method. This is the kind of person who uses the same method every time to get back in your good graces and it's been working until lately, Virg. Until lately, because you started to string, you started to see that these are not isolated events. This is a whole, this is a whole show here. Okay, let me know if this is making sense. I hope it's making sense, but part of them, they continue to miss you, Virgo. You guys could have also um, had a dog together or um this person has a dog and it's like um i don't know they missed the damn dog or something all right two of pentacles here they go back and forth in their mind okay between what between reconciling with you virgo figuring out that's the best thing that they should do okay or kind of hold on to their old ways so it looks like your person yeah here's a tower okay this is what the tower is thank you spirit it looks like your person is always at a is, it's always at a goddamn crossroads, okay, between holding on to this connection, Virgo, or continuing to juggle or continuing to kind of be be free out there. All right, I feel like that's always what the um what the commotion is between you two. All right, give me more here, Spirit. What is this? Why the Three of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, King of Pentacles. Yeah, so part of them is like, okay, Ten of Swords. We, this has ended. This is something that's, that we're done done this time. Virg, this person feels like you guys are done done at some point. But then with the King of Pentacles, they start to really look at the past and that makes them come in. So I feel like, Virg, this is a really, like, this is a cycle that just, it just doesn't end between you two. Because when the King of Pentacles shows up, the King of Pentacles is all about stability, permanence, moving forward. I'm also getting, Virgo, that your person could be trying to stop like any of their player ways or things that weren't making this uh, relationship successful. What is this? Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, Virgo, it's like all the burdens in this. This connection has so many goddamn burdens. And it's like you guys are always almost about to have a very peaceful union but yet it doesn't get to that point and i really feel like your person has triggers you in some ways especially about like their whereabouts or what they're doing in their free time especially because they may not be spending time with you and you weren't you worry about that you wonder about that okay and with the nine of pentacles Virg, they, they're they hate seeing you single they see you, Virg. They, they can see you on social media. Here's my social media card, and there you are single. So they know that you're single. They know that you're that you're thriving or that you're going to thrive anyway. Okay, the strength card came out. Wow, but there's such a strong pull for them to come back in, Virg. This is like... This is giving Bobby and Whitney energy. All right, so... It, <laughs> So justice card. Okay, we have Libra and Capricorn energy here heavily. Now, Virg, I feel like this person is aware of the imbalance here. Ace of Pentacles. It's like they, it's almost as though, Virg, this person, when they come back in, they act like nothing has happened. It's like they're trying to fix things on their own quietly by themselves, but they don't share that with you, if that makes sense. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like uh, or something that you can really like, see that there's true value here, that there's true long-term potential. So this person might be, Virg, I feel like there's also somebody who shows you proof. Like they like to show you proof. And that may be the telltale signs of a goddamn liar that you want to show me. Why are you showing me proof? Like showing you things in their phone. Like, no, look, I was doing this at this time. Or I tried to call you and this didn't happen. Look, I, I did this or I, I said that. And I'm, I'm telling you, Virg, I'm showing you, Virg. And you're like, man, you could Photoshop that. All right, what is this here? I feel like this person is trying to show you something. Okay, Eight of Cups. 
Eight of Cups. Okay, Virgo, so always, this person is like, they're always trying to show you, Virgo, that they always come back to you or that you're the one that they really want. And you're like, but why do you leave? Why do you detach? Why do you do this dumb shit? Because you always leave me in a Nine of Swords energy where I'm stressed and I'm anxious and I'm not sure where the connection is going. All right, and your person is like, no, I'm always holding on to you and also understand that I work a lot, Virgo. You don't understand me. You don't, you don't, you act like you don't understand what I'm really doing or my goals and my mission. So I feel like this is the kind of person who tries to really uh, not over talk you, Virg, but over talk you in a sense where, yeah, I, I just feel like Virgo, there's this energy with them where they always win the argument. There's no accountability here. They're always at a they're always the ones who are the victim. It's not them. It's not it's not me, Virg. It's my job. It's not me, Virg. I had to do this. It's not me, Virg. I had to do that. And it's like, listen, you don't take accountability for shit. The Empress card. Okay, so they're still seeing you as that one that they want to commit to, the engagement ring here, Virg. But I feel like there's still some things with this person that you're just not clear on. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the um the extended. I'm gonna get this person's true intentions. And their next steps in this situation here, Virgo. So if you are interested in that, everything will be down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Virgo.